don't never tell them the exact price. You add a little sprinkle sprinkle to it. I know what y'all came here for. Y'all came here for some mess. Y'all came here for some drama. Y'all came here to hear about the effed up things that has happened to me in my past. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have. Y'all been waiting. Y'all been waiting a long, long, long time for this, okay? Well, the wait is finally over. But first, but first, we're gonna have a word from our sponsor. easy to adjust the tightness of this wig with the strap on the inside and then my first time seeing how thick this unit actually was and how beautiful the curl pattern I was just in shock I wanted to just leave it just like that but of course we have to show you guys how it looks straight out the bag and with product in it as well So what I'm using is just some plain water, some mousse, and also styling cream. That's all I put in the hair. And then I was just showing you a comparison. That's hair straight out the bag. And then this is hair with product in it. Both curl patterns look extremely beautiful. So you pick which one that you like the best. Okay, y'all, we are back. I was off camera for close to an hour, probably about 45 minutes. So my hair is, I would say like 80% dry. You saw that I put water, mousse, and a curling cream. It didn't need anything. The curl pattern was already beautiful, straight out the packet. But I just wanted to show you guys how it looked with products in it. So this is the dried curl pattern, the dried look of the hair. So let's go ahead and take this wig band off. I put a little bit of gel as you guys saw, but this is still considered a completely glueless wig. Look at that. Look at that hairline. Look at that. When I say 100% glueless, I mean glueless. Look, glueless wig, okay? But it's still melted down into my skin. Y'all, that is it. I mean, if we wanted to, I could use the hot comb and just kind of push it back off of my face just to give it that more of a voluptuous look. See that? Don't even need to do that, but since I heated up my hot comb, let's go ahead and do it. Let me 
the doula. They will never steer you wrong with hair. And that is it. Look how thick this hair is, y'all. Look how thick this hair is. Yes, it's water wave hair, but it is extremely full. This is 24 inches. This is seven by five, bye bye knots. All of the details, description, links, everything will be down below in the description box. You guys check out Nadula hair. This unit is so beautiful. I just love a, a nice water wave curl pattern. I love curly hair period, but water wave has always just been my jam. So you guys check out Nadula hair, all the information, links will be down below as well as a coupon code so you can get this gorgeous, really easy unit. Okay, y'all, we're back. The bills aren't gonna pay themselves, okay? But anyways, yes, y'all know why y'all are here. Y'all are here for my oh so popular hotels. So I'm sorry I've been having y'all wait for so long. I wanna say my last hotel sit down was over a year ago. I don't even know if I was living in this house yet. And I've been in this house for almost a year and a half. So I'm sorry, please forgive me. Your girl, you know, I have some crazy things that have happened to me, but I don't have that many hotels so that's why they're kind of few and far between but i hope you guys enjoyed this story let's get into it y'all don't pay attention to somebody else like i don't have any thumbnails on but i have other nails on yeah life of a girl who wears press on nails anyways let's go ahead and get into the story okay y'all so this story happened a little over a year ago okay Y'all will definitely remember some of the things I discuss throughout this story. And I'm hoping I can get through this pretty quickly because it wasn't like a whole long drawn out thing. So, but y'all know your girl likes to talk. So I am hoping I can get through this pretty quick. So anyways, this involves me and two men. <laughs> For sure, not what you're thinking. So anyways, you know, I'm just living uh, my normal single life. And this story does involve two ball players who played in the NBA. So I am not gonna give any initials out because y'all figured it out. Not y'all. It was one person in the comment section. When I told one of my hotels and it involved an NBA player and I said some initials and I kind of mixed them up, this girl figured it out. She goes, the year that you were out there, the team, the city you were in, the this, the that, and by the new jumbling the initials up, oh yeah, I already know, it's so-and-so. I said, oh, Inspector Gadget ass bitch. I'm like, damn, she figured it out. Wow. <laughs> I can't remember if I blocked that hoe or not. I may have blocked it just on the strength of why did you write all that? And why did you do all that putting two and two together, ho? Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't try to put two and two together. Like, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. But 99% of the comments were absolutely wrong. But it was one girl who figured it out. And I was like, ooh, wow. So anyways, we're not doing initials at all. We are going to name one guy Wilson, the other guy Spalding. They're basketball players and they play, those are the names of basketballs, okay? So, the guy who I was dealing with, we are going to call him Wilson, okay? So like I said, this, this incident happened about a little bit over a year ago. Me and Wilson had been talking for a few years on and off. I, met him we was talking and then i wound up dating somebody else seriously and then we stopped talking and then once that little tiny relationship ended me and him started talking again and then and then i started dating somebody else and then he he's he has just been the guy that i just know is always gonna be there when i'm 
in between relationships, okay? It is what it is. So about a year and a half ago, Wilson really wanted to put my sister or my best friend down with somebody, another player. But it was mainly my sister. He mainly wanted to put my sister onto somebody and he was saying, so-and-so is new to the league. So-and-so just signed this new contract and he's making this amount of money. Or what about so-and-so? He was like, but man, she really likes so-and-so. He just signed a X, Y, and Z contract, but he's 25 years old. Y'all gotta understand, we're, we're women of a certain age. You know what I mean? We're women of a certain age. The young boys, like especially the athletes, oh my God, the athletes love them some older women. But I said, I can't come to my sister and give her no 25, 26, no, in, in the 20s, I can't give her nobody in their mid to late 20s. I, I just, I can't do that. He was like, man, but he just signed a such and such contract. And I'm like, no, she's not going to talk to anybody in their 20s. It don't matter if they got Bill Gates money. Well, they got Bill Gates money, I mean. You never know, they they illegal, you know, but anyway, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't putting words in my sister's mouth, but I'm just saying. Yeah, she's not gonna talk to anybody that young. So I'm like, just give it a rest, just leave it. Like she's, no, she's not gonna talk to any of these fresh new guys. No, it's not gonna, it's, it's not gonna happen. So he stopped pressing the issue for a while. And you know, we was just on our normal little, you know, we had our dating situationship and you know, that was my boo. That was that that was my boo. We talked every single day. Okay? But your girl is single. I'm single. We don't have titles. You my boo. You my nigga. But I'm single, okay? I'm single. <laughs> so, around this time, there was a fight going on. Y'all know I love boxing. If there was one sport, I could only watch one sport for the rest of my life, it would be boxing. Even though I got, you know, even though I've had some, you know, some NBA boos, like I don't, I don't care about basketball like that. My kids love basketball. I don't care about basketball like that. I love boxing. I love boxing, okay? I'm surprised I've never dated a boxer. Like, has a boxer even tried to holler at me? I don't think so. Not that I could, I could think of. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. So there was a fight going on. And you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm going. It's in Vegas. It's two big names on the card. Like, hell yeah, I'm in that thing. So I went ahead and bought my tickets. Bought the tickets, I believe, the day they went on sale because, you know, stuff like that sells out because there are real big boxing fanatics, people who bet on boxing. Boxing is a huge, huge, huge sport. And especially when there's big names and you want to have really good seats. Why do I keep doing this? Relax, girl, relax, okay? When I go to Vegas for events like that, I go with my homegirl Jessica, so she was like, we gotta jump on this now. So we did, we jumped on it, we bought our tickets that same day. Not too long after that, I get a DM. I get a DM from another ball player, okay? He slides in my DM, we talking, you know, we just flirty with each other, back and forth. At first, I really wasn't interested in him and you know, looks wise I was like eh, eh, eh. I'm not gonna talk to somebody just because they're an athlete you know what I mean I'm like mm, he, not that, he ain't that attractive to me but the conversation was really good he was cool he wasn't thirsty he wasn't like on no extra shit he was hella laid back super cool so I like that that part was attractive so we wound up exchanging phone numbers after a while and we continue our talking. Outside of the DMs, we in the phone now. So we, we talking. Mind you, I still got Wilson over here. Wilson is my boo. But now I got Spalding, okay? So baby, I got two basketball. I'm dribbling Wilson and Spalding, okay? So once we are talking and having good conversation and you know, we start talking about the fight that's coming up. He was like, oh, you going? I was like, yeah, I already got my ticket. He was like, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna pay for your flight. And he was like, do you wanna stay with me? I wanted to, I was like, oh shit, like, why not? I'm, we gonna be out of town at the fight and you about to sponsor this trip? Like, 
sure, I'll stay with you. You know, I ain't tripping on that. But I'm with my homegirl, so I can't do that. Me and my homegirl are going together. Maybe if it was a group of us, I'd do some little BS like that, because that's definitely some BS to leave your, gr your group of girls. That's some BS, okay? It is, but it was just me and her, so of course I can't leave her high and dry, so he understood, and he was like, what hotel do you want to stay at? So I hit my home girl. I'm like, do you want to stay at the Waldorf Astoria? You want to stay at a really high, high, high class hotel out there? She was like, well, let's see if we could stay at one of the MGM hotels because that's where it's at and da, da, da. That's where all the action's going to be, blah, blah. This is last minute. So we looked into that. Everything was sold out. So we wound up picking the Waldorf Astoria out of all the places. My mind, when a man is financing something and a man where I know like money is no object to you, yeah, I'm going to pick the highest shit. And of course, I'm going to fly first class. Of course. Ladies, tip. If you're dealing with somebody and they're don't, don't, don't ever, ever, ever be scared to ask for the highest of the high, okay? If a man is flying you out, if a man is trying to sponsor a trip, if a man is doing, you ask for the highest of the high. So anyways, so I got the price together for our Waldorf Astoria stay and my first class plane tickets. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing already because this hilarious. So he sends me the money, we book everything, and I'm like, bad bitch, I'm flying to Vegas. First class to see the fight? I'm flying to Vegas. First class to see the And sir, if I see you, I see you. If I don't, I don't. Like, you gonna be with your boys, I'm gonna be with my girl. Like, it's just, you know. And I love boxing, so I was just hella excited about this whole trip, okay? <sighs> so, we are now about a week and a half before the trip. I'm talking to Wilson over here. Wilson brings back up my sister talking to one of his homeboys. He's like, hey, I got somebody that I think would be perfect for your sister. And he's like, he's not in his 20s. He got this, this, and this going on. He got bread, he got this and that and blah, blah, blah. I think your sister will like him. I said, oh, who is it? Send me a picture of him, send me his Instagram so I could send it to her. This man sends me a picture of Spalding. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. This man sends me a picture of Spalding. Y'all, I'm about to cry. <laughs> oh my God. Oh shit. So immediately I start having a small panic attack and I'm like, okay, okay, relax. You got this. We weren't on the phone. This was through text messages. So gather yourself and respond back. So my response back was, she's actually kind of talking to somebody right now. She really, really, really likes him. So I really don't wanna like, you know, get in, mess that up and throw somebody else in the mix. You know, she really, really likes this guy. I'm just trying to like say like, basically I'm trying to get in his head. Like, even though maybe in your head, he's a good option for her. She got something else going on, and I don't think she's gonna wanna talk to this guy. All while I am sweating profusely, having a panic attack on the other end of this phone while I'm texting, reading, and looking at this man's picture on my phone screen in Wilson's thread. I'm like, I can't believe this. I, I can't, I, how, out of all the players? Out of everybody in the league? Like, out of anybody? Past, present, future, players, whatever. Him? Y'all, I couldn't believe it. 
I called Jennifer. I said, Jennifer, you're not going to believe that this man is telling me to hook him up with Tina. Like, I can't believe this is happening. So, mind you, I'm calling Jennifer and I'm texting him, telling her what's happening as me and him are texting back and forth. Something to me wasn't right because usually when I've told him like, no, I, cause in the, even in the beginning I told him like, I don't like that conflict of interest. I don't like when friends talk to friends. The shit can get messy. You guys know, if you've ever like dated, you and your best friend dated two homeboys or you and your sister dated two brothers or two cousins or whatever, it can get messy. I ain't got time for the mess. Like I, I got, clearly I got all my, enough mess on my own plate going on. Instead of trying to hook, his friend hook him up with my sister or my friend. You know, I just, I ain't wanna do all that. So, as I'm on the phone with Jennifer, he and he's like pressuring me, like, just saying like, she ain't gotta, like, she, he ain't trying to be, he don't wanna be her boyfriend. Like, this ain't like that. Like, she could still talk to old buddy. Like, he keeps saying she could still talk to her friend. Like, this is just somebody for her to link up with, hang out with, and whatever happens, happens. Like, let them figure that out. Can I send him her Instagram? Let me send her, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send him her, I'm like, no, sir, like relax, I've already told you no three times, like why are you pressing the issue? This man FaceTimes me. <sighs> this man FaceTimes me. So I'm on the phone with Jennifer. I'll never forget, to, I'm sitting at the kitchen table. I'm on the phone with Jennifer, I'm texting him, and then he FaceTimes me. I really, at that point, start having a panic attack. I'm like, I can't believe, why, why, why? We were texting each other, I was cool with the texting back and forth. Why are you FaceTiming me? Now, I gotta make sure my face looks like ain't shit bothering me, okay? So I hang out with Jennifer, I get on the FaceTime with him. He in his car. <laughs> he in his car, he looking down, he, he was rolling up. And I'm like, and I've always wondered like, how? How y'all be Oh, it was off season. That's what it was. It was off season. The dude was rolling up, but he's been playing for so long. I guess he knows what to do not to have the shit in his system. Anyway, the dude was in his car. He's rolling up, so he's looking down. He has not even looked up at me. When I said hello, that was the only time he looked up at me. He was like, hey, what's up? And he was continuing looking down. So, you know, I'm sweating. I'm like, okay, girl, look cute, look cute. Like, and I'm bothering you. And he's like, he rolling, he looking down. So tell me again why your sister wouldn't want to talk to him. And now he's staring at me. Has his phone propped up in his car. Now he's staring at me. We looking eye to eye. I said, my sister, my sister wouldn't want to talk to him because she's already dealing with somebody. Like they're like serious and and you know how it is. Like I don't want to do nothing like that. And the dude she's talking to, you know, I've met him before. He cool. I'm, I'm making him, I'm lying out my ass. Like, he's cool, I don't wanna be, you know, I don't wanna be that type of person because I really like old buddy for her and da 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 I said, then, I, you know, I don't, he, you know, he don't look like her type. I don't think she would talk to him. You know, he ain't that cute, I'm like, he ain't that cute. I already told y'all, I didn't think he was cute to begin with, but the conversation was cool, so I was like, whatever. No, he ain't that cute, and she don't wanna talk to him, da 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 He was like, he goes, oh well, I've already sent him her Instagram, so we gonna let them figure it out. And I said, oh, okay, cool, he was like, why are you acting like that? He was like, you acting weird, you acting different. He was like, oh, do you know Spalding? And the second he said that bitch, I wanted to scream. He said, do you know him? Has he ever talked to you? Has he ever tried to talk to you? You know, I know I know my boy. I know you his type. Like, he, he ever been in your DM? I'm like, no, he hasn't. That was my point in time, y'all hindsight being 2020 that was my point in time to really tell him yeah he's been in my dm i could have left it at that i could have left it at yeah he's been in my dm but men talk like women talk i know if i had said yes he's been in my dm he would have been like oh you know my girl like you know her you you, you try to help. i have to just have a feeling he would have said something to him like, oh, you know my girl, you been in my girl DM. Maybe he wouldn't have, maybe he would have. I don't know. I was too scared to find out. I lied. I was just like, no, he's never been in my DM. I've never seen this man a day in my life. Sorry to that man. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. Yeah, I don't know this guy. No, I just don't 
I'm just getting upset. Like so I'm trying to tell him, like, just stop pressuring me to put somebody down with my sister. Like, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting annoyed because you keep trying to put somebody down with my sister. But no, I don't know him at all. He's never been in my DM. He got quiet and he's literally staring at me, burning a hole through me, like waiting. Like at that point, I knew that he knew and he was just waiting on me to come clean. And I'm like, no, we going with this lie to the grave. I'm not coming clean. You gotta understand, Wilson was somebody who I've put through a lot of ups and downs with fucking with him, then getting in a relationship and not, and then as soon as that relationship's over, jumping right back in his life. And he's always like, man, you do me so wrong. He tells me all the time, he's for years, he's like, you do me so wrong. You do me so dirty. You do me so wrong. He always tells me, you do me so wrong, okay? And I don't mean to. You know what? I don't mean to. I just... But anyways, yeah, so I just... I was really trying to spare his feelings and cover my ass. <laughs> Mainly cover my ass. So anyways, after we got off the phone, y'all, I just knew that he knew. So I called my sister. I told her everything. She was like, Gina, he knows. Like, he absolutely knows. He is waiting on you to come clean. That is why he's pressuring you about this one and not all the other ones. That is why he FaceTimed you in the middle of y'all texting. He knows. I'm like, oh God, oh God. So I called Jennifer and Jennifer's like, he knows. That man ain't dumb. That man ain't dumb. He absolutely knows. They've already had a discussion about you. Like. He knows, that's why he said him out of everybody and that's why he, basically she said the same thing. Tina said, and the same thing, I already knew in my head, like he knows, He the way he looked at me y'all, he burnt a hole through me he, on the FaceTime. Anything you wanna tell me? Why you acting like that? You don't know him? He ain't never hollered at you? Literally looking at me like that and I'm like, like a scared little mouse. Like I said, y'all, this is a week and a half before the fight. And this man just then gave me all this money for a first class flight and the Waldorf Astoria. <sighs> so me, I'm like, I can't, I cannot keep this man's money. For one, if I was to keep his money and he really knew and really found out, cause I, like I said, I didn't know if he 100% knew. I feel like he did but I didn't know for sure. So I said, let me send the money back because even though if you smash the homies, that's something like forbidden. Dudes hate a girl who smashed the homie. I feel like it's even worse if it's somebody that you're giving money to. So even though me and Spalding never smashed, he gave me a lot, he was flying me out. Like even though I was already going, it's still, he's flying me out. Like you've paid for my stay, you've paid for my travel, like, and we're supposed to link up while we're there. <laughs> so it's a fly out. Oh, and I left that apart. I didn't want to get off track, but oh, Wilson, when I told Wilson I was going, Wilson was like, oh shit, I wasn't gonna go, but I'm gonna look for some tickets now to see if there's any more um, tickets left for the fight. I said, you don't, you, you don't want to go to the fight, do you? you? You don't even talk about boxing. You don't like boxing. Y'all, I, I had to talk him out of getting tickets to go to the fight. I I literally talked him out of it. He was, it's like he was interested, but he wasn't like, he wasn't like that interested. He just mentioned like, oh shit, I'm gonna see if there's some tickets. I might go or I might just be out there if there's no tickets, you know, just to be out there in the mix, da da da. And I'm just like, well, you can't find no tickets. Why well, be out there in the mix? That's lame. Lame niggas do that. Don't, you don't wanna be out there in the mix, do you? You don't wanna be considered lame. Anyways, yeah, so I talked him out of that because I already knew I was linking up with so-and-so and this is before I even knew that they knew each other. But anyways, yeah. So now we're at the part of the story where this, all this money is involved. I already bought my flight. I've already bought the hotel on his dime and there's money left over, of course. Like you don't tell them the exact price, baby. You don't never tell them the exact price. You add a little sprinkle sprinkle to it. Sprinkle sprinkle. So, and there's money left over. So I'm like, I gotta give this man back his money. I gotta give this man back his money. So I call Tina back. I'm like, Tina, would you give the man, after after she's already told me, he clearly knows. And I, you know, I like, I like Wilson. I do, I like him. So it's like, I'm, 
I'm trying to save this, you know? So Tina's like, you have to give the money back. She was like, you have to, like you're going to one. She was like, you just don't want to look bad in the eyes of both of them. You need to make up some type of excuse to Spalding as to why you're giving him his money back. He'll respect you. He'll actually might like you even more, but you gotta be truthful to Spalding. Well, truthful, <laughs> it's a lie. But you have to make up something to tell him why you're giving him his money back. He will respect you, he'll respect you. And if Wilson did know, once him and Spalding talk and you've returned the money and didn't meet up with him, then Wilson will have respect for you as well. I talked to Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer's like, girl, don't give him that money back. Just give him some of the money. Don't give him all the money back, you know. Then when I broke everything down to her, she was like, yeah, yeah. Give him the money back. That's the right thing to do. Even though it's effed up, that's the right thing to do. So I asked Jennifer, how should I word this? What should I say? So Jennifer worded it for me. That is Jennifer, anytime I need something like worded a certain way and I don't have the right words for it and I want it to sound like really good, you know, I, Jennifer is my go-to. Like she on her feet with stuff like that. So she worded it out for me. So I sent him a text. I was like, I believe, I probably still have it in my phone. I'm not gonna go look for it. Cause like I said, this was only a year ago and it's probably still in my phone. So I basically just told him like, hey, I'm not gonna be able to see you while I'm out there. I'm gonna just be hanging with my home girl. Um, she has already different plans for us to do. She has a party for us to go to after the fight. So I wanna give you your money back because I'm not, I don't really think I'm gonna get to see you and I'm gonna feel bad that you've paid for everything. <laughs> and I don't get to see you. This man responds back, nah, it's cool, keep it. Keep the money, it's all right, we'll, we'll try to link up. I mean, if we can't, it's cool. He was so like understanding and like, don't even worry about it. It's cool, keep the money, you gotta think. This is chump change to him. He's like, keep the money. And I'm like, Jennifer, he's telling me to keep the money. Like he ain't tripping if we can't see each other or not. Like we'll see each other one day. He's like, just keep it, keep it. So Jennifer being quick on her toes, she's like, okay, Gina, just tell him this. So basically, I don't remember exactly verbatim, but it was like, no, we'll be able to link up again another time. And then if you want to buy my flight at that time, you know, there's other events coming up. Cause he, we were long distance, of course. You know, y'all know I just, I like your long distance shit. He wasn't living in Houston. So the second text message, he even just laughed at. He was like, I said it was okay, it's cool. He even called my phone and I didn't answer cause I was like, I can't, like my brain, I was so stressed out. I'm like, I can't handle talking to you on the phone now. I feel safer doing this through text messaging. But he was like, no, keep the money, keep the money, keep the money. Jennifer was like, just send it back to him. The account that he sent it from, just send it back to that account. And that's what I did, I just, sent the money back to him. So after I sent the money back, he was just like, you funny man, like that, that that's wild, that's crazy. He just, did, he didn't understand. He was like, that's just, it's weird. And I'm like, nigga, I know it's weird. I'm I'm aware. What, what woman gives back thousands and thousands of dollars? <laughs> and now I'm stuck basically paying for it myself. This first class fight that I never would have flown to Vegas and staying at the Waldorf Astoria. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, that trip basically doubled in price for me. So yeah, lying cost me a lot of money, y'all. So anyways, fast forward, me and Wilson, leading up to the fight, me and Wilson are still talking every day, like our normal communication. Me and Spalding didn't really fizzle out. I couldn't just, I mean, I guess I could have cut it off just cold turkey, but I just kind of like just talked to him less and less. Me and him didn't talk, and we didn't talk on an everyday basis to begin with, because for one, we were just still getting to know each other. When all of this happened, we probably had only known each other for two to three weeks. Like it wasn't a really long time at all. We slowly fizzled out on that, and then we come to fight weekend. Fight weekend gets here. I'm in my first class seat going to Vegas, riding to the Waldorf Astoria on my own dime, <laughs> paying for everything myself. So I get to Vegas and I'm just like nervous. He texts me and he's like, I'm at such and such hotel. 
and we have a section at such and such club if you, if you don't want to come to the club then i can leave a key for you at my room and this and that i really want to see you i understand you know i got all my boys with me so you, your homegirl can talk to one of my boys and blah 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 i don't respond i left him on red I left him on red and y'all that entire weekend I was on pins and needles so scared that I was gonna run into him oh I was so nervous that I was gonna see him that I was like literally like looking over my shoulder looking over my shoulder I'm like oh my god we have floor seats so I'm like I know he has floor seats I'm like what if he's like next to me and it's just I just didn't want it to be an awkward situation to where now I have to tell you to your face no, I can't hang with you at the club. No, I can't come to your room. No, you can't come to mine. Like I just, it was, it would just would have been a really awkward situation for me. So anyways, I left him on red. I did not see him that weekend. Thank God. And basically to close out the story, me and Wilson remained fine. It was never brought up. He never said that he knew I was lying. He never said that he knew that he knew. It was literally never brought up again and we've been good ever since so i never talked to spaulding again never saw him in person until <laughs> oh my god my life needs to be like a movie like some of the like weirdest randomest stuff just happens to me I get invited as somebody's plus one to a birthday dinner and birthday party. <laughs> so we're at this club. It's me, my sister, and I know a few of the other people that are there just from like, you know, Houston is big, but it's small. You, it's like you're acquaintances of people. Like, you know, like, oh, hey, what's up? Like, oh, you're friends with the birthday girl? Oh, oh, da, da, da. Anyway, so we sitting there in the section drinking talking next thing i know my sister goes to the bathroom and comes back and was like hey somebody wants to talk to you she taps me and i'm like who i turn around y'all it's spalding it's spalding standing i don't know seven freaking feet tall i mean he's the only one in the club the, the, that's that tall standing at the bar and i turn around you know, I turned back around real quick. I'm like, oh my God, I'm not talking to him. Like, Tino, why would you even tell him? Like, why would you even do that? Da -da? She was like, like y'all haven't talked this. At this point, it had been months. Like, like I said, the incident happened probably a little over a year, a little over a year ago. So this had probably been like, maybe like four to five months after that. She was like, he's cool. He's cool. He just wants you to come say hi. Just come say hi to him. That pissed me off, number one, because I'm just like, you know how stressed out I was about this situation. Then you see him and you talk to him and 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 you're trying to get the brill, the bridge in between to where I can go talk to him. No, it's awkward. And of course, I'm still dealing with Wilson. Like Wilson's gonna be, Wilson I just feel like is one of those people who's gonna be in my life like forever. Like that's just how I feel after all these years, like I just feel like he's gonna be in my life forever. So I'm just like, I'm not going to, mess up my friendship situationship with Wilson over Spalding, who I don't even know. I sent you your money back. We only had communication for like a few weeks. Like we never even did nothing, you know? So I'm like, no. So anyways, yeah, that was the only time that I saw him. I did not walk over to him and speak to him. My sister thought I was being weird. She was like, that's, that's old news. You should have came and spoke, spoke to him. I was just like, no, like I just don't even, and I, I don't even want to deal with that like no 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 no. i'm not opening nothing back up so anyways come to find out spaulding actually moved to houston he lives here now crazy i don't think he probably lives he probably has a house here i don't think he actually like lives here but i just heard through the grapevine that he lives here but y'all know how that is like dudes like players they be having like homes in different cities so i don't think this is like home base but i just feel like everybody's moving to houston at this point so anyways yeah y'all that is my hotel yeah, i got caught up with two nba players i got caught up dribbling juggling two basketballs however you want to word it but 
yeah y'all that's my hotels let me know down below what y'all think about it do y'all think i played it right do y'all think i played it wrong would you have kept the money would you have just canceled the whole trip what would y'all have done in that situation <laughs> Would you just say, hey, I'm single. I can mess with who I want to mess with, even if they are cool with each other. Let me know what y'all would have done, you know. Let me know what y'all think about this. Um, don't be pressuring me for another hotels back to back to back. That's what y'all love to do. They are, like I said, I got some stories, but the really interesting ones are few and far between, you know, but we'll see. We'll get there further on down the line. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of hotels don't forget to like this video comment down below and if you aren't subscribed girl or boy y'all need to subscribe to my channel i do a lot of vlogging i do some sit down talks and of course i have my hotel series and for those of you who have not watched my past hotels i do have a playlist here on my YouTube channel. It is under the tab story times. So y'all just sit back, relax, grab your popcorn and check out all my story times. I think I'm a good storyteller. But anyways, I love you guys. Mwah! Love you guys. Don't judge me because we all have stories. I'm just exposing mine to the world. See y'all on the next one.